morning, boys and girls. It's Miss Beth, and our Ella showed up today. Good morning, Ella. Are you here to listen to the stories I'm going to be reading to the kids? Awesome! Awesome! All right, today we are going to read two nonfiction guessing stories. Nonfiction, remember, remember, they're real stories. So, this one is called My Claws Are Huge and Black. What am I? So we're going to learn what has huge black claws. And maybe you already know. All right. The author is Joyce Markovics. And the publisher is Bearport Publishing, New York, New York. All right. Put your thinking caps on because we're going to try to figure out what this animal is with the clues given. All right. What? My claws are huge and black. What am I? Look at my tail. It is curved and pointy at the tip. Hmm. Maybe you already know what this is. I'm not quite sure. I have eight short legs. Ella's guessing. She has a thought in her head. My body is hard, shiny, and black. Ooh, I'm starting to get a guess. I have many eyes. They are tiny and round. Here's the eye, some eyes, some eyes right in here. See where these arrows are? That's where their eyes are. Ooh, that's interesting. All right. I carry my babies on my back. They are yellowish white. So here are the babies. Here are the babies. Hi, Yala Ella. Hold on, you gotta not let me not show the kids the picture. Do you wanna see the picture, Ella? Okay. Fine hairs cover my body. All right, let's see if you can see this. Do you see these hairs up here? These are the fine hairs that they're talking about. Oh, do you have a guess? I have a guess. I have a thought for sure. My claws are huge and black. Hmm. Ella has a guess. What am I? Let's find out. So does this picture give you even more of a clue? All right, shout it to me. What do you think? Do you have a guess? If you don't have a guess, that's okay because that's why we're here. We're here to learn what these animals are. But if you know what this animal is, let me know. <gasps> Ooh, some of you might be right. But if, you, if you're not, that's okay too because, again, that's why we're here. I am an emperor scorpion. That's what I thought. I did not know it was an emperor scorpion. I thought it was just a scorpion. I didn't know there was a, a, a different kind. Yeeks. That would scare me if I saw it crawling, crawling across my grass, that's for sure. But I don't think we have to worry about that. All right, let's talk about some facts. Emperor scorpions are related to spiders. They grab and crush their food with huge claws called pincers. Scorpions also have venom in their tails and can sting other animals. They eat mice insects, and other small animals. They are about six and a half inches long. About They weigh about 1.1 ounces. They live five to eight years. Emperor scorpions do not have to drink water. They get all the water they need from the food they eat. And this is about the size, a little bit bigger than a cup. All right, 
Emperor scorpions live in hot, wet forests in Africa. Right here. See, this is where they live. So we don't have to worry too much about those being around here. But it's still good to know what they are. Oh, that was good. You did great. Way to go. If you got it right, that's awesome. And if you learned something, that's even more awesome. All right, let's go into our next one. This one is, guess what? Swinging Smarties. Let's see if you can tell what this is. And this is written by Susan Henricks Gray, and the publisher is Cherry Lake Publishing. All right. I can see very well. Hmm. I have long, shaggy hair. Wow, that is long. Look at that. My long arms make it easy to hang out in trees. Oh, I have a guess. I have a guess. Do you have a guess? Hmm. And if not, that's okay. That is perfectly fine. I use my lips to touch and feel things. That's interesting. I didn't know that. They use their lips to touch and feel things. That's pretty cool. All right. Oh, I love to eat fruit. Sweet. Hmm. Those hands give me another clue. All right. I can pick things up with my hands and feet. That's cool. That's super cool. I live in warm tropical forests. Do you have a guess? Are you starting to think you might know what this animal is? Right. Me too. I think I have an idea. I like to play. Do you know what I am? You know, shout it to me. What do you think? What do you think this is? Do you have a guess? And if you don't, that's again, okay. That's why we're here. We're here to learn what these animals are. All right, the big reveal. Let's see if you are right. I am, I'm an orangutan. Woo! Look how cute. That is an orangutan. Did you get it right? I got it right. I knew this one. I was pretty confident once I saw the hair on the hands. All right, let's read a couple fun facts about orangutans. Orangutans have hands with a thumb like ours. They also have a big toe on each foot that works like a thumb. Orangutans are the only kind of ape found in Asia. Unlike other apes, orangutans prefer to live alone rather than in groups. Orangutans eat mostly fruit. There are two kinds of orangutans, a Sumatran and a Bor Boranin. Both are endangered. And then these are different words. An ape is a large animal related to monkeys and humans. Endangered means in danger of dying out because of human activity. Shaggy, rough, long, messy, and tropical. Hot, rainy places on earth. And those are your fun facts. Oh, how'd you do? Did you get it right? Yay! If you didn't again, it's all good because you learned something today. I am Miss Beth, and I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. Have an absolutely fantastical day, and I can't wait to see you next time.